Alright, here's this little um, magnetic bead attached to a rotor. And now this is actually in a, uh, a true motor configuration that's uh, overcoming friction and rotating a shaft. And I'm doing it on a AA battery. And I've got the uh, LED acting like a jewel thief kind of thing where it's the flyback that's making that light up. The uh, one and a half volt battery couldn't do it. Uh, this is uh, being lit up by the collapsing field of the coil that's underneath that motor. I'll show you what it looks like here. There's the pancake coil, the reed switch with the magnet biasing it, and then there goes the little rotor. And uh, you can make these rotors, of course, out of multiple magnets and stick them on the shaft. But trying to find one that's got a hole in it already, that's magnetized right, that's a small one, is what's been hard. And uh, not that many people make these uh, diametrically magnetized ring magnets, which is what I like to use on these little pulse motors.